What's up, CW fans? Welcome back to the numbers series. We're going to be learning the numbers 9 and 0, and uh, that will take us up to a, a total of five numbers that, that we will now have learned. So our previous video was um, 3, 5, and 7. We'll learn 9 and 0, which are two additional popular numbers. Um, you know, although the 9 is not used as much as you think it might be like when you're sending 599. Sometimes you'll send 599 and then 5NN. But uh, typically, especially in contests, it's uh, 5NN. But we'll uh, start out by listening to what the 9 sounds like. And again, I'm using the N3 ZN, uh, ZN9 paddle for this series of numbers. And um, I also have a video on there, like I mentioned in the last video, that kind of uh, goes through what this what this is all about. So, all right, we'll start out. Let's let's listen to the number nine. It's kind of long. It kind of sounds almost weird compared to some of the other numbers that we've listened to. And if we uh, went back to last episode, which we learned uh, 3, 7, and 5, let's throw the letter, uh, let's throw the number 7 in there and um, let's follow it by the number 9. Let's say we're going to send that it's uh, 79 degrees today, which I kind of wish it was in Chicago at this, this recording. So let's do a 7 and a 9. So if you recall, what the seven sounds like. So there's your seven. And let's do a seven followed by a nine. Oops, that was a Z, right? So let's do a 7-9 at a full 18 words a minute without the Farnsworth spacing. That's kind of fast, right? So it's 7 and 9. 7 and 9. Now let's do like a a nine and a three. Like 93 degrees, which, wow, that's really warm. I would probably be pretty crabby. I can't really, I don't really like the heat. So 93. How about a 95? Or how about a 5-9, which is... Probably, you know, pretty common, mostly in sideband, though. We're usually doing 599 nine because we have the tone component of the RST, right? So let's do 59. So there's 59. Okay, did you catch that? That was not five, right? What was that? Trying to throw you off a little bit here to make sure everyone's paying attention. That was the one of our favorite letters. The S is in Sierra. So sometimes you'll hear. So S nine um, might be a. A signal report that you want to send somebody that they're they're truly an S9. How about a how about a three nine? I think we did that already. So the number nine. A lot of das with that little dit on the end. 
kind of a, a long character, but not as long as the zero. So let's do a zero. Another awkwardly sent character, which I just used the, my index finger. So da, 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 da is a zero. So if we wanted to send that, we're, we're running 300 watts. We can do a three, zero, zero. So let's do that. So that's 300. Now in the normal course of operation, um, when you, we get it a little bit faster, a lot of folks abbreviate the zero with the letter T as in tango. So if you were to send 300 watts, you could send it like this. So 3TT. T. But since we're learning uh, numbers, let's make sure that we know how to send and receive the number zero. So let's do five zero. Let's say we're, we're gonna tell somebody it's 50 degrees or 50 watts, which is pretty common. Let's do a five zero. So that's five zero. Now, as I said before, sometimes numbers aren't really sent in a vacuum um, unless you're going to say, um, you know, how tall your tower is, what the temperature is, and maybe even the model number of your radio you know that that'll be something you know I, i've got a yezu ft 1000 or ft 5000 so we, we know the number five so let's do 5000 so that was um kind of awkward you know it's five zero 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 so you can do five T T T, um, but you know in rag chewing, the the what they call cut numbers, which I have a video on cut numbers. Um, it, it isn't always done that way. So in in rag chewing, you usually just send the whole number. So five thousand. There you go. So. Um, We've got the new ICOM 705 that's come out. I well, gosh, I think that's been out for two years now. But you know, let's do 705 because we know seven, and we now know zero, and we know the five. So let's see what a 705 sounds like. So there's a 705. Let's slow it down a little bit. Seven oh five. Now let's uh, let's think that it's ninety degrees outside. So we're gonna take our two numbers nine and zero, put them together, and see what ninety sounds like. Because the nine is kind of long, and so is the zero. But they do sound different. Let's do a couple of them. the difference I just sent a couple of random uh, nine zero nine nine zero nine something like that let's do so you know what that is it's a zero that's a nine so let's do let's see what number this is Okay, was that a five zero or a five nine? It's a five nine. Now what about this one? It's 
kind of odd, but let's do it again. That's zero seven. So that's uh, that's not super common, but if you do work uh, somebody in Western Sahara, I think uh, he's Sierra zero seven uh, something. So it, it does happen, but of course. When we're doing numbers, you're probably going to be copying call signs too. So let's do like a let's do like a K zero K N. I don't know who that is, but it just came to my head. Let's see what that sounds like. If you remember what a K is, it's usually the the end of a repeater tone in, in many areas on many repeaters. You'll hear that at the end of a transmission. So let's do K zero K N because we've been playing with the letter N a lot too. And when you're copying call signs, you know that's it's kind of cool because you'll know to expect a number at some point, right? So when somebody sends a a letter like you know that maybe the next character is going to be a number, which it was. If you can recall what that is, that was, let's do it again. It's a three. Let's do an N3 again. So N3KK. And then let's go back to um, doing a, a nine. So let's do All right, I threw a, a monkey wrench into that one. What was that last character? So we had a K nine K that was a P. Right? So that was a K9 KP. So that's our, uh, our our addition to our letters, which is a, a nine and a zero. We've got uh, the numbers three, five, seven, nine, and zero. So let's run through them one last time. So there's the nine and the zero right at the end. Let's do one more nine and a zero next to each other so we know what it sounds like. We'll just run them together at regular 18 words a minute. Or we can do a zero nine. So there you go. All right, so that's our, uh, our series on numbers uh, getting us to uh, five of the 10 numbers including uh, zero, obviously. And uh, our next series will continue on. Of course, these are additives, so make sure that you watch these in sequence because we will be reviewing the numbers that are in the previous video. So have fun with numbers, everyone, and uh, CW on, my friends.